Hey, Kelly Sachs here, American Irrigator. Trying to make you a better irrigator. Today I'm going to show you when I'm putting bap boxes over the valves. A little bit of something that I do. I think it's a good tip and maybe uh, give you another way, get another idea how to do it. Let me show you something. Well, we're over here. We've got to the point where we've got our valves in. We've got our pipes coming out, running to our heads and everything. So now we're to the point we're going to put our valve boxes on top of these uh, valves. And so one of the things that I like to do uh, for several different reasons that I started doing was we've got it, all this right here is actually pretty deep and it's deeper than one valve box. So if I put one valve box over this valve, it's gonna be too deep. Now, one of the ways that we used to do it and I've seen guys do it is you just fill it full of dirt and put the valve there, valve box over it so it's level, but it fills too much dirt around the valve. You can see it in there. So I don't like to do that anymore because uh, it makes it pain it makes it a pain to come back and troubleshoot or uh, maintenance or work on this valve and so one of the things I started doing was actually using two valve boxes another way you could do it is put valve box and put an extension over it but let me just tell you why I like to use two valve boxes one of the things is is because I can put this first valve box down all the way down and I cut out where the you know the thing where the pipe can go all the way through so no part of the valve box is touching the pipe, which is good. You, you don't you want that because you're, the guys mowing the yard are going to come run over this, and you don't want any of the valve box on the pipe because it has a potential of cracking it, kinking it, and messing it up. But let me get in here and see if I can show you. Let me get this way, and I'm going to show you. See if you can see in here. And I want you to notice all the way around this. I I can reach all the way to the bottom. I've got my ball valve, my shutoff valve here, but when I come in to have to work on this valve, I've got no dirt around it. There's no dirt around the wires and the solenoid, no dirt around any of this kind of stuff. When you use two valve boxes, I can get it all the way down to where it covers all the way down to the bottom of the pipe and the bottom of the valve. It makes it a whole lot easier to come in and work on this later. And so that's the first reason why I like to do this. The second reason is, I see I've already got one here you can see there's the top of that one and when you fill it up now I can adjust this box up or down however I need to to get it level with my dirt and uh, if you use an extension your extension sets right on top of this valve box so if you don't get the bottom one right your top's not gonna be right this way this actually slides over the top of this and I have flexibility to go up and down so say some of this settles and these go down, I can dig this valve box up and raise it up to be back level with the top of the ground. So there's two reasons why I like to use two valve boxes when covering up these valves. And uh, one is to keep all the dirt out from around the valve itself. And then two, give me some flexibility to make sure the top is even with the top where the grass is gonna be. I hope this helps y'all. Stay safe, good luck out there and work hard.